Hey guys, and welcome to day eight of 12 days of my favorite things. So today is going to be a little different. I ended up doing a video and it came out really, really long because I focused so hard on the blow dry technique. And since you guys ask about my blow dry technique all the time, I decided, why don't I just break this up into two videos? So watch now as I show you on a section of very natural hair, how I do my blow dry technique. Now I know everybody might do it different, but this is how I do mine. You asked for it. So here it goes. Before any blow dry, you want to make sure that you use a heat protectant. I'm using Satin Shield by Sheer Genius Collection. It is our number one seller. All you need is a dime size and it will expand in your hand, rub it throughout your hands, and put it all over the hair. When you're done, you will still have product on your hand. That's how well this product stretches throughout the hair, so you don't have to worry about that. Next, you're gonna to wanna to get you a wide tooth comb. You can get a wide tooth shampoo comb by Annie or Diane at any beauty supply store and gently take the hair in thin sections. If you are new to this, do a section even thinner than this. It'll help you out tremendously. Using that shampoo comb, you are going to start at the ends of the hair. You don't want to start at the roots because all you're going to do is end up getting tangled. So you don't want to do that because the hair is weak right now. It's at the weakest state because it is wet. Just start at the ends and work your way up to the root. There is no rush. Now I had to get some better clips because her hair is really, really dense. So I needed a stronger clip to hold it. Now I'm just going to put a cap over the rest of her hair to keep the moisture in while I work with the back. I'm just making sure that her hair is stretched out one more time before I go in with the blow dryer. Using the ceramic red 2000 this is the best blow dryer ever this and i kind of like the silver bird too but it's really heavy but i have it on high heat and i'm just going to stretch the hair out first now using my denman paddle brush i'm going in and i'm starting with the ends I'm starting with the ends because just like with the comb out, if you start at the roots, your brush will just get caught in the hair and you don't want that. You want to straighten it out at the bottom first and then work your way up to the roots. If your brush gets caught in any of the hair, just remove it. Don't yank through it. Don't rush because if you're a hairstylist and you're rushing through your client's hair, eventually they're going to see the breakage. If you are just doing your own hair, same thing. Eventually you're going to see the damage that you're causing from ripping and raking through the hair. So just take your time. Just pick a time where you have patience and know where to go and take your time on your own hair. Now I'm just going in the top from the top of the roots and I am following my brush down with the concentrator of the blow dryer. The concentrator is the nozzle that I have on the blow dryer here. It's giving concentrated heat to the certain section of the hair that you're working with. Now don't hold it against any part of the hair too long because that's too much heat. You always want to keep in motion. Now I'm going under with the brush and pulling the hair up and stretching it even more. The goal here is to get it straight. The straighter you get it while you blow dry, the less heat you have to use during your silk press. 
Also, if you're not blow drying for a silk press, clearly you don't have to get it this straight, but that's what we're blow drying for today. So I don't need the heat police in the comments talking about how it's too much heat, like it's fine. Her hair also holds water, so that's why I have to go in and kind of dry her neck off every now and then because it holds water and it holds heat. So that's why you see me doing that. Her hair already has a nice, healthy, natural shine from the heat protectant. It's perfectly and evenly coated. And that's how I blow dry. So see how straight it is? It's straight, it's soft, and it's shiny. So I'm just gonna show you how it looks compared to the rest of her hair. See that? So all you have to do is get a good stretch and your silk press will be perfect. Now make sure that you tune in for part two so you can see me trim and curl this bad boy, okay? Okay, so hopefully that looks a little easy to you. It takes patience and practice, but you will get it. So um, today I'm gonna give you my blow dryer, my favorite blow dryer, the Ceramic Red 2000. So just leave your name or your contact info in the comments and I'm gonna send you your blow dryer when I send all the rest of the gifts out. All right, guys, see you for part two so we can see how her hair came out. All right, bye.